That's right. Now, the announcement of the royal birth left some people quite confused. Shortly before 2pm yesterday, Buckingham Palace announced that Meghan had gone into labour. Then, 40 minutes later, confirmed the baby's arrival. Yet, the Sussex Royal Instagram account said Meghan had given birth in the early hours of Monday morning. So, what happened? Well, joining us now to discuss the announcement is Nick Ferrari and Vanessa Feltz. Good morning. So, Nick, I mean, I know you um, respect the couple enormously yeah. and the work that they do, um, but you've been a bit peeved by this. Look, it ill behoves anyone to tell them how you should celebrate the great news. The most important thing is that mum, baby, everybody as well. That's And we have seen that we've witnessed this young man, Harry, unsurmountable grief when he lost his mum, having to walk behind her, and now we see him beaming with pride. Your heart bursts. My problem is, my problem is that there has been... I think, by the way, it's more mistake than mendacious. I, th I think it's a genuine error. But the, there was an arrangement that they would announce Labour, then they would open the long walk, and all the TV crews, Camillas of this world, could all get there, and then they'd be in position. It's all gone badly wrong. And we're left... Of course we're left celebrating. It's fantastic news. But the media are thinking, well, as you rightly said, there is a suggestion, probably not true. Was it for the US? Perhaps it's not. But it's just a really unfortunate, slight savoury tone, unsavoury toast that's something so joyous. That's my concern. But does it really matter? I mean, we all saw the footage of Harry come out and thank everybody and it was lovely. So as a, as a just a, a, a person here, not in the media or anything like that, you're just watching own, it, own... you know the news, you find you find out it's happy news. Well, you... We just get to share in the fact they've had a, their first baby. We don't really know the news because, as you rightly said, we, and we will in time, but we don't know where the baby was born, why, why the state secret, why the confusion... Do we need the to know? Well, all I would say is the first rule of peer and the royal family, and I don't buy the argument about money, by the way, they, they cost pennies a year, good luck to them, I have no good luck to them, I don't care about that. The problem is they exist because we love them and we support them. If it's seen, the first rule of PR is don't tell a lie. Never, because the minute you tell a lie, you're going to lose the support of the media because you've tried to dupe them. If they have in some way, possibly through error, misled the media, that for me is a problem because they enjoy our support and I wouldn't want to see it. And I'm sure Vanessa would agree. They have not me and not Vanessa because we're both columnists. Some of our fraternity have actually been turning against Meghan a little bit and this, and which I think is wrong and this will add fuel to it and that's what concerns me. Yeah, so, on. Vanessa, um, are you of the point of view that, uh, as Holly was saying then, Listen, it doesn't matter. We all know that the baby is born now, doesn't it? Yes. In what order that it was, it was born. Absolutely. I could not give a fig about what time. <laughs> I do not care where. All we want... <laughs> I'm not going to say... Come on, I've been doing this for years. I'm not going to say... They might say off, off there, not on there. But I, I am... In fact, I do say it off there. Um, Constantly. I, all, I, all the time. All I care about, just like everybody else, is that this is a healthy baby and, oh. and a gorgeous baby and they're happy and we're happy. And exactly four weeks ago today, I had a brand new grandbaby, baby oh. boy, and I understand why they don't want to be owned in every single particular. They don't want everyone to know every single private, yeah. intimate detail. It will come out eventually where it was, and that's important because we need to know, was it but at home, was it in the hospital? The, it's part of it's your job. It's yeah. part of the enjoyment of the nation. The nation, we, we've, ah. we've loved the pregnancy, we love the, the, the beautiful wedding, yep. we bought into all of yes, this, so don't, don't keep us out of it. But we're not out of it. We've seen Harry. We're going to see the baby. We're going to hear the name. It's going to be it's fabulous. Detailed. We don't know. We're do thrilled we to? to bits, and we don't Something. need to know exactly where or exactly when. We know she's had the baby. Some That's it. Nick some, some some I, those... I just want to say there have been lots of very browned off journalists this morning. It's I... only the media who care, and they're like, we should have but been you... told them. Why haven't they told us? And then they had but to you... make up but... a whole lot of stuff to fill oh, up all Vanessa, those supplements this Vanessa, morning. You well, must... tough on them. <laughs> Vanessa, you must buy the line <laughs> that in the world of media, and by the way, I. Don't accuse Harry or Meghan. I think this is genuine mistake. Mm. You cannot be seen to lie or mislead. But they no, didn't you, mean you to. They've already said they're is, sorry for and, getting and it marginally look, look, wrong. Those lovely people that we've just seen on top of the bus, yeah. they want to live every minute of it. The, the plan was that when the Duchess went into labour, they would open the long walk, all the TV crews would go in. That's all gone by the by. People would have loved... If we're going to enjoy it, which we want to... I mean, golly, it was only a year ago that wedding was found. Why couldn't those folk well, partake of that? Well, the vast majority of people watching and listening at home are well, just thrilled. They don't feel they needed to know which ward of which hospital no, or which room, or whether, it, whether it was underwater or whether it wasn't underwater. It's no-one's business. Some things are allowed to be private, even if you're royal, and I think those are the things. And I really love the way that Meghan has had the guts. Think of all the tradition and all the yeah. precedent. She's had the guts to say, I'm not doing that, and I think you've got to hand it to I was gonna. I was going to ask you, because you said something there where you said, you know, people that you work with, you find the tide turning against, against her. Yeah. Why, why are people blaming her? They're a couple. 
So presumably they're making these decisions together. Why is it suddenly everybody saying that it's turning against her? For some of our, for some of our brethren, I say Vanessa and I have neither written a word, never, and I, I don't would think never write something because, nasty no, about her. I no, love her because I love them. I, I think they possibly they want to see Meghan. I, I'm saying this. This isn't what I believe, but no, you've asked no, me. No, quick. No. They want to see Meghan as the controlling influence. She's taken over Harry. She wants to move Harry off to the States or the Bahamas or Bermuda or wherever the heck it might be, and he's our Harry. That's what they're saying, and I think it's totally and utterly wrong. That bloke, look at him. That oh, bloke was, was he's beaming. So happy. With, I and love the way lovely? he was giggling. Was this fabulous mm. uh, walk in? He's lovely. bubbling, he's giggly, he's yeah. choking, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, yeah. I just thought it was completely magical, and I and I love it. After all, he's so seasoned at talking to the camera, he still couldn't stop himself giggling. That's and I love so it. He said that baby is to die for. And I know that feeling when you've just had a child, you feel I would I would kill for this child. I would die for this child. Well, I love this yeah. child with every fibre of my being, and you can see that he's in love, mm. in love with his wife, in love with his baby. That's all we ever wanted for I him. I think isn't everybody it? just needs to enjoy. This. Me too. This moment, because they don't come along that often and it's the most joyous thing. Congratulations. Yeah. Just not let it be tarnished. Won't, by... they, won't this all be forgotten? Anyone who is just a little bit miffed on this, um, won't it all be forgotten in a, in a day or so's I think time when he comes shots. out, we see the baby, yeah. we find out what the name is. Yeah, I, I think once we see the pictures, once we know the name, a lot of that... And bear in mind, a lot of journalists... I mean, most every newspaper has written that the child was born at home. We now know, of course, almost certainly it wasn't. So you've got a lot of angry print journalists who's there in black and white that they've got it totally wrong. So there is a degree, <laughs> there is a degree of grumpiness. They'll have to get over they it. They will have to get over it. I'm really hoping right. she'll go for at least, or he'll, they'll both go for at least one name that's really American and unprecedented, not necessarily all names. Like Donald. Or Jay-Z or, or something. Donald. Chad. I'm hoping for Jay-Z or Chad. something like that. Could, I, yeah. I would, could be Harry Jr. I, I don't want to rain on anyone's parade, but we need to keep close links with Europe as <laughs> what we think is going to happen. About Jean-Claude. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just an idea. Maybe worth a five. Probably leave not, the, Phil. Leave the studio and me. <laughs> uh, thank you both very Thank much. you. Thank you.